Hello and welcome to Servantech's online tutorials. My name is Kristen Hiller and today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up an email newsletter campaign. If you've recently purchased an email newsletter template from Servantech, you'll have access to this website at servantech.createsend.com. Once here, you can log in with the information we've provided you with and you should arrive at a screen similar to this one. You'll notice the name of your organization in the upper left hand corner and below that you'll see four tabs. Um, today we're primarily going to focus on the create slash send tab. There are a couple different ways you can access this. Um, one being the tab which we can click on and another being the create a new campaign button over here on the right. Um, you'll also notice if this is your very first time logging in, you should see a big green button across the screen that says create a new campaign. So any way you get here, um, you want to be sure you're on the create new campaign page, which if you just chose the tab, it's going to be the second item in the drop line menu where it says create new campaign. And once we arrive here, this is where we will put in some specific information about our new campaign. So the first thing we're going to want to do is give the campaign a name. I will call this one Newsletter Tutorial for the purposes of this tutorial. And um, next we can select a subject that we want to appear in the recipient's email subject line. Um, we can go ahead and go with Newsletter Tutorial. Uh, in the From field, we can choose a name that we want to appear as the From name. Here I'm going to leave it as Servant Tech. You can choose to put an individual's name. You can put your organization's name. It's really up to you. Um, next, you can give the campaign a from email address. So when recipients receive the email, this is the address that they will see as where it was being sent from. Now if you wanted the reply to address to be different than this, you can um, set that in step number five to whatever email address you want people to be sending their replies to. And once we've got all of this information in, we can click Next. And we will appear at a screen where we're going to choose to work with our template. So um, if this were your company's page, you would see one template underneath the item that says Use One of My Templates. And you can select that thumbnail. So for today, we're going to go with the Servant Tech template. And then we'll click Next. Um, just to note when you're setting up your email campaign, um, you'll always want to choose your template. And once we arrive at the next screen, this is going to be kind of a snapshot of what our template is going to look like. So the main thing we want to do is add our content. So here we can click on the enter title here item. You'll see a little icon beside it um, that looks like a pencil that will allow you to edit this. So once we click on the little pencil, we'll see that we have the option of adding a headline. So we'll call this headline one. And then we can input some sample content. So this is where our sample text will appear. You'll notice as you type, it also appears in your newsletter snapshot below. Now if you wanted to import text from a Word document, you can do that by simply typing in a Word document and copying and pasting into the text box. You will notice that when you go to paste, um, you'll get a new text box that says paste as plain text. This basically removes any formatting you have in Word so that it will fit in with your template. So you can go ahead and paste into this box and click OK. And you'll notice your text appears in the snapshot below. You also have the option of adding an image. Um, when you see this insert an image link at the bottom of your text box, you can click this and you can browse your own system for an image you'd like to use. So let's go with um, an image we have on file.
and say open. And you'll notice that your image does not appear immediately as the text does, but as soon as you click the save button, your image will appear below. Now, if we have more than one item in our newsletter, we're going to choose to add a new item by clicking this add new item button in the next area. And here we can give it a new headline. Headline two, and this is where we would enter text. And again, we can choose to add an image or we can just click save without an image. And you'll see your content is below. Now, if we wanted to preview the email as it is right now, um, we can click the preview email button in the upper right hand corner. And you'll notice that headline one and headline two both appear in the in this issue section. Um, this is where people can go to navigate to different parts of the template. If you choose a headline from the in this issue section, it'll simply scroll down to where people can see that um, specific story. Now you'll notice in the make an impact section, we didn't change any text, so we may want to go back and replace that with actual text since it currently says enter title here. So we wouldn't want that to be in the finished draft. So um, one way that we can go back is to choose the make more changes button in the upper left hand corner. And once here, again, we can click the edit icon, which is the little pencil. And we can choose to add our sample content here. Again, you'll notice it appears below as you're typing. And then you can save. And we've got our content. So again, let's click to the next screen, which would be to preview the email. And now we have the option, if you look in the upper right hand corner and left hand corner, we can go back and make more changes if we see something else we want to change, or we can go on to the next step, which is to define the recipients of our email newsletter. You'll notice you can choose recipients from an existing subscriber list if you've already created one, or you can type in the recipients manually. I'm going to go with our sample list for today and click the next button. Now we're getting really close to the end of sending our campaign. Um, all that's left to do is test and define our delivery. Um, you'll notice on the screen you can always go back and if you look at the content item, um, if you look over to the right there's a button that says edit. If you ever wanted to go back and simply edit your email again, you can click that button. Um, you can also edit the specifics of the campaign if you wanted to give it a different name or you decided you wanted the subject line to say something different. You could edit that as well. But for now, um, we're pretty much ready to go, so let's test and define our delivery. And this is a very important step. If you would like to send your campaign out as a test to just one or two individuals to have people preview it and give you thoughts before you send it out to your entire subscriber list, you can do that here. Um, we have a few that we've already put in, um, email addresses that we've recently used, um, or we can just type in a new email address and you can click on the send the test email, or you can skip the test and go on to um, send your email in the next screen. So that about wraps it up for creating a template. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at Servantech and thanks for joining us today.